All right, you guys know the drill here. We're gonna do some pattern play ball. You guys seem to enjoy this and I like doing it, so appreciate you. If you still like it, make sure you hit the like button, thumbs up, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Let me know if you wanna see something different, but we're gonna, um, we're gonna do an eight ball pattern play. I'm gonna break this set of balls. We're gonna try to run it. Uh, we're gonna talk through it and go from there. Starting with the second ball break, as always, about one ball width away from the, uh, the rail. Hit that second ball with low right spin, outside spin. All right, made it solid. We're playing BCA rules though, so it's open. Can shoot whatever we want. Looking at the table, there's some challenges here. That two six is rough. Um, the 1215 is rough as well, but the 13 is so close, you should be able to get to it. The problem with that is I don't have a good starter shot on these stripes. I could try to cut the 11 over there, but that's a tough shot. And if I shoot the 13 now, it takes away my breakout ball for those. I could still go that route because I could use the 14 as a breakout ball, draw off the 14 up into here, and these will open that up. I may end up doing that here because I don't like solids. Solids are a little tougher, I think, than stripes here because of the 2-6 and the 14 block in that pocket over there. So I'm thinking I am going to take stripes. Really, six to one, half a dozen the other here. They both need work. Um, for some reason, I just like the stripes better, probably because of this starter shot, you know. So I'm going to make the 13 first. I'm going to try to get down here so I can use the 14 to address my problem right away. That'll work. That'll do. Now I gotta be cautious with this shot because if I miss my breakout here, I'm gonna end up having to bank both of these or at least one of them and break the other one out with the bank. So I want to draw straight into the six. Six is going to hit the two. It's going to open those up. Oh, but you can't hit it like a little girl. You got to hit it hard. <clears throat> when you hit it like a little girl, they don't break up. You know, now I'm in a world of hurt here, guys. I went for the breakout bet the farm that I was going to get it and I missed it and now look at me. I got this shot on the 10 balls all I got and it's not an easy shot. But we got to shoot it and we got to try to shape the, the 11 ball somewhere around here. So I'm going to make this with top, a little bit of top. So I missed the four, come off the rail this way and then I'm going to try to go back out to around here. Wish me luck on this one. Say a prayer for me on this one, boys. Mm, that hurt. I did ended up hitting the four anyway, so I got screwed on my shape. Now I put even more trouble in there, so I, I don't even think I can bank that 15 or 12 now. I've got one option here, and it's very difficult. I've got to cut the 11 over there with top, so the cue ball hits here without scratching, <laughs> and then nicks that uh, five and disrupts those balls. But this... I mean, it's a good chance I'm going to scratch off of the one here, I think, or maybe straight into the side. I, I'm going to have to get pretty lucky not to scratch, but it's all I got, so I got to shoot it. It's the only thing I got here, guys. Yeah, see, dang it, I hit the nip. Hit the nipple. Hit the, now I got absolutely nothing. You know, I got to try to make a good hit. If I can kick here and make a good hit on the 12 softly, I might get lucky and let the cue ball run back up in here and make it difficult for my opponent, which is AKA me, because when I miss, I'm going to take the other ball set and try to run those out. So right now I'm trying to hook myself basically. The good news is it's a hard, it's a hard shot to, to make, so I'm not likely going to hook myself, but I'm going to try. Mm. 
Oh, hit the wrong ball, but I got a good hit out of it. So now, solids. I'm going to play solids. Obviously, I've got a starter shot here, or I can play this combo here. The combo may be my best route. Let me look at it for a second, though. Nope, because these two are going to be a problem as well. And if I shoot the seven now, I can play top and address those right off the bat. And if I wait to address those, I'm going to run into problems because I want to address them early while I still have other shots left on the table, while I have options, you know. That way, A, if I miss the breakout, I've got other balls I can try it again. Or once I do get the breakout, I'll have other balls I can come away with a shot, you know. If you only got one ball left and you break something out, uh, it's harder to come, come away with a shot. But we're going to play the seven over there with top, a little bit of right, and try to come into here. That'll work. The one ball still goes here. I've got the six, and the two ball will go down there after the six is gone. So now I've got a pretty open table. I've just got to take my time, make my shots, and play a run out here. So my goal right now is just thinking about how to get on this two ball. So right now I think I'm going to make this and come up into about here and try to slow roll the one and leave the cue ball right here on the 12. I'll use the 12 to stop me right here, so I have a shot on that too. That's plan A. Perfect. All right, now I've got to make sure to hit the 12 full because if I hit the 12 off to the side, it's gonna bounce in front of the cue ball and it'll block me from making the two. So I wanna overcut this one. I wanna cut it into that side of the pocket over there so that way I can hit the 12 full and stay right here and not get hooked. That'll work, that'll work. Now I just gotta make sure I stay, um, Stay on target here, right? I've, I've, if I mess up my shapes, is the only way I don't get out here. Or obviously if I miss a shot. But So I've got two options here. I could draw back um, and try to shoot the four up here into this corner. But the problem with that is I'm, I'm get, likely going to end up nicking this 12 if I do that. I do have a slight angle on this two ball, so I could play it with top and send the cue ball down and back up here, which is what I think is better um, because I... It takes the risk of running into this 12 and not knowing exactly what's going to happen. It takes that risk out of play. So I'm going to follow this one down two rails. I'm going to try to end up in here somewhere uh, for the four ball. All right, now I got enough of an angle. I can just make this with center and come over here. I can make it with top and come up here. I like the top option better just because it's going gonna, it's gonna to give me an easier shot on that three ball. All right, just a little draw here. Come back for the eight in the same pocket. Oh, understroked it. I understroked it. I still got the shot, luckily, but I wanted to be back further, and I got a, a reach and a hard shot. <laughs> All right, guys, that's rack one. Let's do one more. Let's play one more rack. That one went pretty smooth. We'll do one more rack like that. All right, guys, so through the magic of editing, you did not have to watch me rack there. Um, you're welcome, but let's run the same drill. I'm going to play one more rack here. You guys know, already know what it is. I'm going to break second ball back, uh, cue ball, one ball width away from the rail, bottom right. Nice, firm follow through. You don't want to hit it real hard at first until you get really used to this stroke. Then you can start adding more power, but first you just want it nice and smooth, a lot of follow through. And you'll end up with a good solid break like that. Almost made the eight. 
Almost made the eight. Now this table looks pretty. It's spread nice. Uh, both ball sets look good. The seven goes down there. Six and four both go down there. Uh, the three ball goes up here. The one will go up here after the three ball's gone, or the one can go there. I think I'm going to take solids here just because uh, the nine and 15, they both will go and they can be made. Either set can be ran out here, but that's a little bit trickier because you have to make the 12 first, then come around up here for the nine and then the 15. And, and the whole time you got to be careful not to bump that eight, you know. So I like, um, I like solids better because of that. But either ball set would work here. I'm going to start with the six. I'm going to hit this with just a, like a running shot, you know, like a little bit above center, a little bit of left, and just try to come back out here for the four. Um, from the four, I want to make sure I have an angle. I either want to be up here or down here, up here preferably, so I can bounce off this rail and back up table for the three or the seven if I under hit it, start working my way up here. So I'm going to shape the shape the four off of the six and I want to make sure I got an angle on the four. That angle will work perfect. Now this four ball shot I'm going to play with top left. More left than top um, because I don't want to come up into this side pocket. I want to come under the side pocket and hit the rail and bounce back up that way. So I might actually use closer to straight left here. The only reason I don't want too much left, and you got to steer away from bottoms because you don't want to nick that 14 ball. See, if you come over this way with left, you'll hit the 14 ball, and you want to avoid that. So I'll probably use straight left here. So let me get down and look at it. Yeah, straight left, maybe a slight bit of top to avoid the 14 ball. See, I didn't quite come up far enough. I do have the seven ball. I don't like shooting the seven ball right now, but I may have to. Let me look up here first. I could try for that three ball, and obviously I could shoot the two ball as well, but the two ball is going to let the cue ball come flying down table. It's, it's a lot less control. Problem is if I shoot the seven, I'm going to end up bouncing off this rail and being over here somewhere anyway, and I'm still not going to have a shot. So I think I've got to I've got to shoot either the three or the two. I'm going to get a good look at this three because if I can make this three, I'm going to have to throw it a bit. So I want to get down and look at it and see how it feels. Oh yeah, it feels good. I think I can make that three. So I'm going to put a lot of left spin on this one. So my cue ball is going to come over this way and hopefully not get behind the 13 and end up with a shot on the one. Um, I, I could also shoot the seven if I mess up. It's a backup. Seven's a backup. At this point, I think I'm going to end up finishing on the seven as my key ball, um, unless I have to take it early. Really, any of these could be a key ball where the eight's sitting. That eight can be made from anywhere. So lots of left spin here. Just careful not to hit the one. Like that. Yeah, I rushed that shot, guys. I got down, uh, stretched a little bit. I didn't take my time, and I, I went ahead and fired it. That's um that that shot deserved more respect than I gave it. So I in turn deserved a miss, you know? It's just the way that works. All right, now I'm gonna play stripes. Um bad news is there's just not a real good starter here. I've got a couple shots, right? Like I could shoot this 10, I could also shoot the 14, which is probably what I'll end up shooting. But uh the 10's a tough shot. And the 14, I got to be careful because the cue ball is going to come off that rail right up towards these balls in that eight. So I got to be careful about my speed uh, to not put the eight in. But I want to start with that 14. Ultimately, I'd love to get up in here for a shot at the 12 or a shot at the nine coming up this way into this pocket. Once I get up in there, I can, I can develop a better, more, uh, more detailed run out. Right now, I just want to get a starter and give myself an easier shot so I can start working the table. All right, I missed everything. That's no good because now I still have a tough-ass shot. Man, 
it was hard for me to put enough right spin because I was so close to this head rail. If I put too much right spin, uh, the cue ball does a lot of deflection. Even with a low deflection shaft, if you're hitting the cue ball on top, which I had to because it was on this close to this rail, anytime you hit the cue ball on top, if you get too far left or right on top, then the cue ball squirts, right? Because the ball's round, uh, so when you hit it on top, it automatically puts pressure down towards the table because it's round. Uh, so when you hit it on top, it's putting pressure down on the table. And if you have left, that pressure just squirts the ball out. You know, it just kind of slides the ball. I call it squirt. I call it squirt. I don't know what the hell it's really called. All right, I've got no choice here. I've got to try to shoot my way out. I'm going to try that 10 over there in the corner with top. And I'm still trying to get back up in here where I wanted to get last time. I'm still playing recovery right now, so I can't plan a run out yet. I'm still trying to recover and, and come away with a shot. All right, I think I got the nine. I think I got the nine. If I do, then I can still make something work here. Yep, I've got the nine, but this is not easy because the 12 and 14 are all jacked up. I'm not sure I do even have the nine. Honestly, the 12 may be blocking me. Dang it, man. Yeah, this is a tough position right here. I mean, I keep, uh, keep getting myself into trouble. I may pull out the old jump stick and try that 13 ball because um, the seven's blocking me just a little. So I'm still playing recovery, guys. That's why I'm not talking about a pattern to run out here because I'm, I've been playing recovery this whole rack right now. Um, haven't had a good opportunity to get a good shape yet and start actually manipulating um, the cue ball where I want it. So I'm still playing recovery. Let's see if we can make that 13. My goal is to stop up there for like a shot on the 15. I only have to jump a little bit of that seven, so I don't have to uh, lift the back of the stick very high. Nope. All right, back over to solids. This is the reality of it here, guys. You know, uh, the last couple I posted, I actually shot pretty good and ran out, but I don't always do that, and this is reality. This is a lot of uh, a lot of games we play. This is how they go, you know, a couple misses each. We'd like to not have that be the case, but it is. All right, so solids are pretty pretty open now, right? I'm going to start with this two. I'm going to play it with um, two ways to play it. I can play it with a little top, come behind the 13 out to here for either the three or the one, or I can play it with center and come in front of the 13 I kind of like playing this one with top because the speed's a little easier to control. So I'm gonna come behind the 13. I'm gonna come out here for the one, but if I happen to come too far, I got the seven or the three. Went a little farther than I wanted, but I think I still got that one. Now I want the three next. So two ways to do this. You can use straight top and come down like that off the rail, or you can use left and spin around behind the 13. The speed's a little easier to control using the left, so I'll probably do it that way. Now I got the three, I'm gonna play straight top, maybe a little right spin, come off this rail back over here for the seven. Now I'd rather go too far on this one because if I, sh here's my line to make the seven. If I'm on this side of the line, then my cue ball is gonna wanna go into these stripes, right? When I make it. So if I'm on this side of the line, then my cue ball wants to go this way, which is wide open. So I'd, I would rather go too far and be on this side than to go not far enough and be on that side because it's gonna make my shape to the eight a whole lot easier. So I gotta keep that in mind while I'm shooting here. I may actually hit it hard enough to come off of this rail and back out a little bit. This helps the speed, helps control the speed a little easier. Perfect, perfect. 
All right, so I got pretty straight on it, which is exactly what I wanted to do. Um, so I'm just gonna make this and draw back slightly. Not much, just a little. Now I got the eight ball dead. Eight ball, side pocket. I appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Did I scratch? Nope, don't forget to subscribe guys. Peace.